This is the ASUS ProArt P16, which comes with the AMD Ryzen AI 9HX370, also with the NVIDIA RTX 4070. On top of that, we also get 32 gigs of uh, DDR5. Here we get a 16 inch display, 16 by 10 ratio with a 3840 by 2400 OLED display, which has a 0.2 millisecond response time. And uh, this thing can go up to 500 nits HDR peak brightness. One thing to note here, you're getting a 60 Hertz display here. At the top, we also get a full HD camera with uh, infrared functions, so it can support uh, Windows Hello. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, see how this uh, camera looks like here. So right now, Everything you're seeing is unedited and uh, you can kind of get an idea of how the how good the camera looks. Uh, it doesn't look bad at all. It, it looks pretty good on my end. So right now, everything you're hearing and seeing is coming directly from the laptop. On the left hand side of the laptop, we do get the DC in and a full HDMI 2.1 uh, FRL. And then we also get a USB 4.0 Gen 3 type C. And uh, we also have a 3.2 Gen 2 type A and the combo audio jack here. On the right hand side here, we have a USB 4.0 Gen 3 type C. And again, we also get a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A. And we also get a full size SD Express 7.0 card reader here as well. Here we have a backlit chiclet keyboard with a 1.7 millimeter key travel and a, a seamless uh, touchpad here as well. We also have the dial pad, which can be activated if you just slide your finger on the side there. And then uh, you're able to go ahead and set anything up. Now let's go ahead and jump to the benchmarks and uh, gaming performance on this uh, laptop here. When it comes to battery life, the ProArt P16 has a 90 watt hour battery for cell, which did a really good job. I had the, the power set at balanced and the brightness at 50% and I was able to get on video playback 10 hours and 38 minutes. While on office productivity, uh, that lasted nine hours and 41 minutes, which is really good. Something to keep in mind is if you're gaming or running uh, heavy tasks, definitely those numbers are gonna be cut in half. On light to medium tests, the battery lasts a long time. Jumping to the teardown, at the back we have uh, 11 screws that are holding the cover. Looking at the P16 here, it makes me happy to see a few things. Um, the M.2 is a full size, so you are able to install the 2280 M.2. So you're able to go ahead and install two of them, one on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side, which is already pre-installed. And uh, the other thing which we are able to upgrade is the Wi-Fi adapter as well. And here's a look at everything else and uh, feel free to pause if you want to go ahead and take a closer look. One thing to note about the P16 here, this is as far back as it can go. 
And uh, it's not gonna be something like where it's able pretty much to be a tablet if you wanted to. So this is more of a laptop here. One thing probably you've noticed is the fingerprints around the laptop here. They come off uh, pretty easily here uh, if you just uh, wipe it down. Uh, that's like really no issue. Really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions on the benchmarks or even how the benchmark looked, if uh, they made sense, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Would love to hear from you. And if you have any other tests you want me to run on this laptop, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do that. I'll see you on the next uh, video.